In Iowa, cornfields and soy dominate the landscape and the economy. This is the breadbasket of the Midwest where 90% of the land is devoted to agriculture. But for years, harmful nutrients have been running from farms into waterways and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. The resulting dead zone in one of the world's most fertile fishing areas threatens livelihoods and a multi-billion dollar industry. Some environmental groups say the meat industry and its voracious appetite for animal feed is to blame. It's going to get bigger. There's going to be more fertilizer washing down into surrounding waterways, more manure washing off into surrounding waterways. With demand for re meat rising and water pollution worsening, these stakes really could not be higher and there has, absolutely has to be a switch. This is a filter strip. It's the area between the cornfield and the creek. Mark Peterson is one of a new generation of farmers determined to change things. Using planting techniques that retain soil and prevent harmful runoff is something he hopes will reduce pollution. I consider myself a self-proclaimed shrimp hugger in the fact that if I keep my nutrients and my soil on my farm and they don't go down to the Gulf of Mexico, it will allow for a better shrimp habitat. Billions have been spent tackling the problem and some in big agriculture are making changes. But nitrogen levels in the Mississippi River haven't declined since the 1980s. Agricultural practices are then changing in states like Iowa, albeit slowly, but environmentalists continue to lay much of the blame on the doorstep of big meat companies. Others here, though, say there are larger issues at stake. Even as the agriculture and fishing industry faces serious challenges, global warming may be an even bigger issue. Food production, I think, is imperiled by climate change. We're already seeing declines in wheat production in China from soil loss due to climate change. You can't grow corn in western Kansas anymore, even with irrigation. And uh, there's some question about how much corn we'll be able to grow in Iowa in 50 years. Farmers in the Midwest are now being encouraged to reduce runoff, but with corn and soy prices falling and demand for land to feed livestock growing, voluntary action may not be enough. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Stanton, Iowa.